Today I'll be making a video talking about the cost of shipping stickers and trinkets from Canada. Uh, Canada is known for having some pretty high shipping costs, so I'll be going over the cheapest and most affordable way uh, for your customers to receive your packages. So first, I ship most stickers with letter mail. So I just, um, if you see my packaging video, I just ship it with a cardstock backing that I get made at Vistaprint. I put my stickers in here and then I just put it in a regular size 5x7 envelope. You can ship most stickers with letter mail within Canada to the US and internationally as long as it's flat enough. So Canada is more lenient on what you send through letter mail but US and international may be a bit more strict but as long as it's uh, bendable and paper-like it should be fine. So I bought this on Etsy. So this is usually what they have at the Canada post offices um, to make sure that your mail is thin enough to go through the slot. So as long as it fits through this slot right here with these dimensions, um, it's considered standard letter mail. So weight also does matter. I know this is a little dirty, but um, this is just a scale that I got off of Amazon and um, Just make sure so usually if you're just mailing a couple stickers, it should be fine But if it's like over 30 grams or over 50 grams, then you might need to increase your postage um, Here is I'll post a chart here on the 2021 letter mail postage rates depending on how heavy your letter mail So this is a good um, chart to reference if you're not sure how much postage you should put on the stamp. So in terms of stamps, there's usually four different types of stamps that I get from the post office. So these are just um, permanent stamps. So they are around 92 cents each. They're just for mailing within Canada. And then these ones are mailing to the US, then they're $1.30. And then these are the international stamps that are $2.71 each. And then um, I have my oversized uh, stamps that I will be talking about a bit later. This is when you want to mail um, keychains or pins in letter mail within Canada. The only downside to letter mail is that there is no tracking, unfortunately. But if you're only mailing stickers and nothing too expensive, um, it's um, the most worth it option in my opinion. Now for uh, pins, keychains, and washi tape within Canada, you can ship something called oversized mail. So you can ship pins in a normal envelope like this. So it does end up looking something like this. So it's a little bit um, bulky, but if we grab this thing, so this is the slot for oversized mail. So as long as it fits through this, no problem, um, you are able to ship it within Canada under oversized letter mail. And that's when I use these stamps that are $1.94. Now for US and international postage for these uh, pins or washi tapes or keychains, um, I use Chit Chats. If you haven't heard of Chit Chats, it's basically a third party delivery service where um, they take your dropped off packages in Canada and they drive them over to the border where it's cheaper to send packages and ship them from the US. And I will use a poly mailer like this so it has bubble wrapping on the inside and then it's just a little bit safer because it is going a little bit further. So I would mail it in something like this that I get off of Amazon. This is I believe 6 by 10 inches. So I'll show you the Chit Chats website here. Uh, so they currently operate from BC, Alberta, Ontario, Quebec, and Atlantic Canada. You can make an account online and fill in your shipping info and print the labels at home. Um, they'll have a dashboard where you can track all of your current shipments like here. Um, the only downside is that you have to physically go drop off your packages at their des uh, designated drop off locations, but the price is significantly cheaper. Um, than if you were to buy postage directly from Canada Post. For example, most of my small light packages under 100 grams, um, it would cost me around $9 to ship from Toronto, Ontario to the West Coast, like as far as it goes in the US um, with Canada Post, and it doesn't even come with tracking. Um, but if I ship with Chit Chats, it's only around $6 Canadian, and that includes tracking. So that's another bonus of using Chit Chats. 
Um, international shipping is quite reasonable too with Chit Chats. It costs around $11 to $14 depending on where you want to send um, the package. And that also includes tracking, although the um, shipping time is a little bit on the longer side. So that's just some quick info on how I mail my packages from Canada. So I hope that's helped. Thanks for watching.